this is gonna be a really weird angle. All right, so as you guys saw earlier in the vlog, um, I just woke up and did a quick 15 minute hit on the treadmill and then after that I went right into 100 reps of abs and that is something that I've been doing about twice a week on top of my weightlifting days which is about four times a week. So ever since I started doing that I've noticed that I've leaned out a lot but still kept my muscle. So if you're looking to build a muscle while losing fat I definitely recommend adding some 15 minute hit workouts about two to three times a week on top of your weightlifting day especially with your rest days of course but I've done a lot of research and obviously tried it out myself and that is what works the best for me to lean out just a little bit more while keeping the muscle that I built and then obviously when you build muscle and you weight lift you are going to burn more calories at rest because muscle burns more calories so just adding a 15 minute hit workout twice a week is going to really burn extra fat while maintaining that muscle because it's not going to tap into your lean muscle if that makes sense so I can make a whole entire video on that so if you guys want to see that comment down below and I'll be more than happy but I just wanted to hop on here and kind of like give a very quick tip on how to burn fat while maintaining your muscle so you're probably wondering why are you in your car because I never vlog in my car um I normally just vlog at home because yeah um but as you guys saw earlier in the vlog I love to have green smoothies every single morning um especially after my hit workouts because I add protein in it I always buy my veggies and fruits in bulk at Costco and then I'll prep them and normally it will last us for like a whole month for both Sean and I so we actually ran out so I need to hurry up and go to Costco because I need some for tomorrow <laughs> Alright guys, so I just came home and like I said, I went to Costco and then I just ran into Home Depot because I needed pots, which I'll show you guys in a little bit why. Okay, so here are the pots that I got from Home Depot. So they're just the standard clay pots, um, but I am thinking about painting them and I also got some drainage trays as well but the reason why I got these is because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while now you know how big these bad boys have gotten like and I know I'm sure this isn't very healthy for my plants but um this is just aloy I say aloy because I'm from Hawaii and that's how we all say it but I know a lot of other people say aloe Sean used to call it aloe but now he calls it aloy because he's been with me for so long but this is the aloy that is medicinal you can tell by like the white um spots on i don't know if you guys can see it so you can use it on your skin on sunburns so i definitely want to trim them and use the gel inside i can tell there's so much gel in there but this one specifically doesn't have any pups or babies but this one over here has two pups apparently that's what they call the babies so here's one right here and then another one right here. So um, these are two separate plants. So what I'm thinking is to definitely trim the um, mother plants and then take the pups out and then replant them in the pots over there and then give it to like some of my best friends because I really do not need more alloys. So... All right, you guys, so I was going to talk about my New Year's resolutions while prepping the smoothie bags. However, as you guys saw, the bananas were really green. So I think I'm gonna wait a day or two until it turns a little bit more yellow and then prep the bags. So that does mean we won't have any smoothies for breakfast, but it's fine, we can, we have a whole bunch of other stuff. So instead of prepping the bags and talk about my New Year's resolutions, I wanted to paint the pots that I showed you guys and talk about my resolutions. I'm not sure how many times I'm going to say resolutions, but so um, the other day I did take some time to really sit down and reflect on 2020. Obviously 2020 was a uh, curveball, so, um, but I did learn a lot. And so I'm going to take that into the new years. And I did write down all of my new year resolutions for like every aspect of my life. Also, if you guys hear noises, it's because Sean and his friend is over and they're like, vinyl wrapping his mustang hood out of window so if you hear noises ignore that but if you guys haven't followed me for a while then you know that i have always loved painting so i have a whole bunch of like painting brushes and paint also that is the reason why i changed my outfit into like this super old black t-shirt 
and put my hair up because I didn't want to get paint on my white t-shirt. All right, so let's just get right into my resolutions for 2021. Obviously, these are just goals that I'm not afraid to share with you guys. Well, not afraid, but I don't mind sharing with you guys, but I do have some other goals that I just not comfortable sharing quite yet. Obviously, when I accomplish it, then I'll share it, but... All right, so I'm sure you guys are all wondering what is my health and fitness goals for 2021. And so, okay, so my first goal for health and fitness aspect of my life is to focus more on mind to muscle connection. And that is something that I have been struggling with all year. Obviously, when Corona hit and the gyms closed, um, I couldn't really focus on mind to muscle connection. I was doing a lot of at home workouts, but even then I wasn't even really focusing on mind to muscle connection. And then the gyms opened and I just felt like I wanted to just go right back into the gym so that I don't lose my gains. And so because of that, I wasn't really focusing on mind to muscle connection and I'm really feeling the burn to be honest. But yeah, that is one of my goals is to focus on mind to muscle connection. And then another thing that I kind of talked about on my Instagram stories is to do a fitness challenge every month for 2021. So with that being said, I'm gonna do a month challenge every single month, like I said and record it and show like the before and after results. So for example, I know one challenge I definitely wanna do is try to do the splits in one month. I have not been able to do the splits since like cheerleading in middle school. So that is one challenge. Another challenge I wanna try is planking as for as long as I can every day for a month. Um, I saw another girl do that video and she saw amazing results. Um, so because it's a compound movement. So that's something I do wanna try. All right, so for my last goal for my health and fitness aspect of my New Year's resolutions for 2021 um, is to make sure to do 10,000 steps a day. I feel like because ever since I started working from home, I really don't get in, not even 5,000 steps a day. I want to say that that's really bad. So I definitely want to start going like on morning walks and making sure I get my steps in. Okay, I don't think I want to use this brush anymore. It's literally shedding. Yeah, that is all my health and fitness goals. Like I said, I really don't have that much goals. Obviously, I want to increase my weight in the gym, not my body weight, but the weight I lift, um, that is definitely a goal. That's always been a goal. All right, so let's talk about my business goals. And I don't really talk about my business on YouTube. I kind of, I made one video, like I think I titled it a girl boss Q&A video and I, I kind of went into it a little bit in regards to my business. Um, so basically, if you guys didn't know, my business now is just full-time YouTube, social media. Um, I also create digital products and sell those. Um, but yeah, that is my business and I love it so much. It's like something I work so hard for. It's my baby. But for my business is obviously hit 100k on YouTube. That is a big goal. Obviously, I would love to hit more than 100k. Um, the next one is to be more intentional with my content. And so that is something I've been struggling with for the past few months of 2020 is with my YouTube. So ever since I blew up on YouTube and now I'm monetized on YouTube and now I do this full time, I kind of went hardcore on it. And basically I was doing quantity over quality just so that I can get a video out and it wasn't my best content. And looking back at my videos, I'm honestly so embarrassed on some of my videos. I mean, you can tell that I have bags under my eyes. I'm not my happy giddy self because I'm just trying to pump out a video for you guys. And I've noticed ever since I started doing that, my viewership has been pretty low too because you guys can tell I'm just not putting my best content. And so now with 2021, I really want to be intentional with my content and produce quantity, no, quality over quantity and then my last goal for the business aspect of my life is to start another business if you guys have been following me for a while now then you know i've always wanted to start a faith-based business that has nothing to do with youtube um you know because when people ask me oh what do you do i still am a little bit nervous to say that i'm a youtuber because i guess people don't understand you can live off of YouTube, but I do want to start a business that has nothing to do with YouTube. 
and everything to do with faith. Um, and I actually was going to start it this year, but obviously because of Corona hit and everything, I couldn't. I'm going to save the best for last. So next, let's talk about like my life goals overall for 2021. All right, so the first goal that I want to talk about is I want to focus more on self-care. And like I said, going back to YouTube and my business and really trying to grind and grow it. And I was only doing um, quantity over quality because of that that really took a toll on my self-care I started to not really take care of myself in ways such as not my health and fitness like going to the gym but in ways like painting my nails and doing a face mask and a hair mask and things like that even though it sounds so little it all those things add up make you feel like 10 times better and i feel like it just overflows into my business my marriage my mental health everything and so this past few months of 2020 i just have not been putting self-care as a priority i feel like i was putting non-essential things over essential things such as my self-care and i actually took a scale share class on this and it was called um what is it called it's called simple productivity how to accomplish more with less and it basically is about eliminating non-essentials to make time for essentials such as self-care and that class was so motivating and it was super exciting is that skillshare is actually sponsoring this part of the video if you guys watched um my video i think it was my night routine i talked about skillshare and how i did their art class actually um, I'll put up that class up right now on the screen. Okay, so the class that I finished was Drawing as Self-Discovery, Five Ways to Start. And what I really took from that class, if you guys watch my night routine, um, basically is that you can use art as a form of healing. And if you guys have never heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is basically an online learning community with thousands of classes and they're curated specifically for learning so there's no ads and they're constantly releasing like new classes for every aspect like I said such as lifestyle productivity and art so you will never get bored but honestly the best thing about Skillshare is that it's less than ten dollars a month so that is a steal so you constantly can learn something new so like for example like I said last month I was doing an art class to um, use it as a form of healing and then this month I'm using it as a form of helping me to be more productive and focusing more on essential things and non-essential things and so right now the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will actually get a free trial of the premium membership so make sure you guys don't walk run to the description box so that you can be the first 1,000 people all right, so my next goal for like my overall life is to read more books. And to be completely honest with you guys, I have put that on my goal list at the ending of every year for the past three years. I have been really wanting to read more books, but I feel like the more I say it, it doesn't happen. But I'm just going to put it on my list again and see what happens. But I really want to start getting into reading again. Um, back in middle school, when I didn't have responsibilities, I would read so much. I would read like a whole book in a day and a half. And then the last goal for my overall life is to do a weekly act of kindness. Um, sounds kind of cheesy, but, but when I do an act of kindness, you just feel good overall about yourself, about the world, and you just feel optimistic. So... And I also feel like the world right now needs a little bit more kindness. So um, yeah, that is my goal. All right, so last but definitely not least, let's talk about my faith goals. And obviously in terms of my faith, my goal is to always grow more in love with Jesus. And so that is obviously my main goal of 2021. Um, but another one in regards to my faith I've always wanted to read the entire Bible from front to back, and I've never done that because, to be completely honest with you guys, I fall asleep in the Old Testament, but I really want to get into studying it more and kind of educating myself more about the Old Testament and how it relates to the New Testament and everything and what's different. And then lastly, for my faith goal is to always obviously be a light. I want to be more of a witness. You know, in 2019 and before then, I would consider myself a lukewarm Christian. I really wasn't sharing my faith on social media because I felt like people would unfollow me because of that. And at the time, I didn't even have 
not even a YouTube started and I didn't even have 800 followers on Instagram. At the ending of 2019, um, I went off of social media for almost three months because of something that happened. And honestly, that was the best thing that happened to me because I really, I feel like I got a slap in the face and it made me realize that I don't wanna be a lukewarm Christian anymore. And so when I came back on social media, I started sharing more about my faith, not sudden, but here and there and grew into it. And I promise you guys, ever since I started sharing my faith on social media, that is when my Instagram blew up, that is when my YouTube blew up, and my business blew up. So I'm not going to obviously share my faith on social media and talk about Jesus just so that I can be more successful because God knows the real intentions of your heart. But I can honestly say ever since I share more about my faith and I'm open about my faith, that's when everything blew up for me. Well, for example, before I went off social media for three months and took a break, like I said, I was at like 800 followers on Instagram. I had maybe 30 subscribers on YouTube. I wasn't even doing YouTube like consistently, maybe like once every two months. So when I came back, started sharing more about my faith and obviously sharing more about my fitness journey, I now have almost 11K on Instagram and 57K on YouTube within a matter of just one year, which honestly is a lot compared to some other people because I do know some people who it literally took them years just to hit 50k on YouTube and it only took me months. So yeah, you guys, that is my 2021 goals. Um, obviously, I do have other goals that um, I have on my list that are really important to me that, like I said, I'm just not ready to share yet. All right, so I'm going to finish this. Let's do a quick speed up because I feel like because I'm talking so much, I haven't got anything done. So I was thinking with this color pot, I think I did enough coats. Um, I was going to do white speckles and then for this one, I was going to do black speckles. I saw it on Pinterest. We're just going to try it. If it doesn't work out, I'll just paint the whole pot black. I'm really liking how this is turning out. Oh my god, I got it on my bottle too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to pause so it doesn't get on my camera. So... Look who's yellow now. Well, kind of. And they're a little bruised for some reason. But let's get to prepping. So it's been a couple hours and here they are. Um, as you guys can tell, this is a lot and I actually still have some up there. So this should last us for about almost a month. Um, and like I said, it's been a few hours, so it should be a little bit frozen. So I kind of want to um, take one before the gym because we're actually about to head to the gym as like a pre-workout because I didn't have one today and you know, Gotta get your greens in for the day. So I'm gonna make this and then get ready for the gym. All right, outfit of the day. Plain black sports bra from Hawaii's Finest. Logo came off so you can't tell. Tan leggings from Lilius Active. So cute. <laughs> Sean's laughing and making fun of me. Converse. And then my hat, UCF. And every time I get ready for the gym, Sean always makes my post-workout shake. So that's already done. On my phone because my camera died, but you know you're a... Uh, gym rat is that what they call it when you have three <laughs> bottles with you you have your post-workout pre-workout during workout am i cool babe you're so cool <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, we just got home from the gym. Well, from my parents, because if you guys have been watching me for a while, then you know that we always go to my parents right after the gym because Sean and my dad always work out together. And then um, they live pretty close to our gym, so we just eat dinner with them. It is about 10.30, so we just got home, but um, I was wanting to film my whole workout. It was the quad and hamstring focus workout. However, about a month ago, I think it was my Do You Even Try On Haul and Review video. In that video, you guys can see that I was wearing a wrap around my wrist, and I kind of already explained it, but a long story short, when I was in Colorado back in like ending November, almost near Thanksgiving, um, I slipped and fell at the place that we were staying because I was chasing after Sean and I landed on my wrist like this. And so I iced it and everything thinking I probably just like sprained it. And then a month goes by and I can't even like pick up my purse, let alone a dumbbell. So I went to urgent care and got some x-rays and apparently I hairline fractured my wrist. So the doctor said just to keep it wrapped and be a little bit easier on it for about like 10 days. So I barely put any weight on it for about 10 days. Um, I did go to the gym, but I didn't do any upper body and for leg day, I was just like sticking to the machines. So I did that for 10 days. And so it's been about two weeks now. And so yesterday, like you guys saw, and then today was the first um, workout that I didn't wear my wrap. And so let's just say that was not a good idea because I feel like, I don't know if you can fracture or refracture a hairline fracture and make it worse. I don't even know. I'm not a doctor, obviously. But, um, when I went to go do, what was it? It was when I went to do supersets. I think I was doing uh, lunges with deadlifts using a easy bar. And so when I like lifted the weight up and like put it over my shoulders, um, obviously I have to go like this to do it um, over my shoulder. And I felt like a pop, I don't even know. <laughs> and so, I stopped. I'll put a clip here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I stopped doing that. And ever since then, my wrist has been so sore. Um, I can't even pick up my purse again. And I'm really hoping and praying that I didn't injure myself even more. So yeah, that is why I didn't get um, any footage of me working out. And I tried to. Um, so after that, I asked John to stop by at Walgreens because the wrap that I was wearing um, that the doctor gave me from urgent care, I did wear that to the gym a couple times, like I said, and it was getting a little gross because I sweat in it, and I don't want to wash it because I probably should wash it, but um, it has like the Velcro, and I feel like the more you wash it, it's not going to stick. So um, I got this wrist support thing. This is what it looks like. It was like 10 bucks and so um, I tried it on and it says it's antimicrobial. I hope I said that right, I don't even know. And honestly, this is a hundred times better than the wrap because it's way more supportive and I can actually use my fingers. So I'm gonna try this for a couple weeks, see how that works, and if I still cannot like lift my purse up without it hurting, then I'll probably just go to my primary care and get it checked out. So please send your prayers. Hopefully it gets healed because I haven't done I haven't done upper body day in like what seems forever. I mean I kind of got a little pump going on from the deadlifts that I was doing, but nothing much but yeah so i think i'm gonna end the vlog here so thank you so much for watching um make sure you guys like comment and subscribe because i have so many amazing videos for 2021 coming like i said earlier in the vlog i really want to be super intentional with the content that i produce and put out and definitely choose quality over quantity this year. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching and happy new year's and I'll see you in my next year. Next video, not next year. <laughs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.